Hi, I'm Elaine Harding. Welcome to my blog.stampwithelaine.com and welcome to today's project. I have a card from the Making Everyday Bright. It's on page 47 and I've cased this card here in the catalogue with a little bit of a tweak. The punch is from the bundle Making Christmas Bright. I just wanted to show you the alternative. It's a Making Christmas Bright stamp set it's in photopolymer so if you bought that and the punch together it will save you 10 percent i'm highlighting making everyday bright stamp set which also goes with this punch i'm using the sweetly stitch framelit dies which is bundled with the nothing sweeter stamp set this is the die i'm going to be using to spell out that sentiment here I've actually used the Make a Difference stamp set with the alphabets from here. My card base is eight and a quarter inches by five and seven eight inches. That's 21 centimeters by 14.85 centimeters and folded in half. Then I have a petal pink piece so that I can make this detail with the zigzag die, stitch die, and Sahara sand three and a quarter inches by five inches so that's 8.2 centimeters by 12.7 centimeters for the sentiment i've used a really narrow strip of cardstock in petal pink and that's been cut at five sixteenths of an inch so that's eight millimeters by two and three eighths inches which is six centimeters a strip of sahara sand to stamp and punch out these fittings here for the light bulbs. Whisper white three and three quarter inches by five and a half inches. In metric that's 9.5 by 14 centimeters. The black glittered ribbon which you can find on page 49. In some using are petal pink and Sahara sand. Tuxedo black memento ink. The big shot and magnetic platform. So let's get started. First I'm going to place the um, on the magnetic platform base cutting plate. I'm going to place this uh, zigzag stitching on the edge of the cardstock like so. Top cutting plate and then I'm going to run that off camera through the big shot. Bring in my foam mat. Next we're going to stamp on the Sahara sand piece of cardstock. I'll just stamp it about the middle. I want to stamp my light bulbs so I have an idea where to stamp the next line. Then I need to stamp that in between. Then I want to stamp this ray of hearts. Now I know where to place my next row of bulbs. So I need to stagger it between those two. Then marry up by a bit. So let's set that aside and we'll stamp the inside. I'm going to switch inks to petal pink from the two inch by five inch petal pink piece that's five centimeters by 12.7 centimeters we're going to stamp a little light bulb and punch it out stamp it at the bottom and one here as well. Bring the trimmer out and just trim that off as close to the light bulb as possible. Then you can reach to punch out this part of the uh, bulb. A bit of Tombow on there, some on here. And you can glue that on top 
and leave it to dry. Now we'll need to stamp, we'll this. need nine of those in Sahara sand. Punch them all out. Just some glue. Next I'm going to stamp my sentiment using the Make a Difference alphabet. I'll use a bit of snail or fast fuse. So it doesn't move and then I'm going to stamp the alphabet. My tip is to write the sentiment on your pad and then you know what um, letters to put in. I'll do that off camera until the very end because it is a bit time consuming. I'm using Tuxedo Black Memento ink for this. I've done most of it and I've just got the F and the E which is smudged. I've spelt out the letters. The reason why I like write the letters down is so that I don't misspell it. Um, so that's my tip. But I've smudged it, so I shall do, go and do that off camera. I'm not happy with it. It's much easier to do it sitting down rather than standing up, quite apart from which my back is just killing me. So I'll be back. That's so much better. So let's get the scissors and trim that off. I'll trim off these light bulbs as well. Take the double sided tape and cut a bit off. You don't want it longer than the tab. Um, I'll put that on your ribbon. Remove the tape. Snip off some of the ribbon. And you want some on the back as well. Put that on. And then your lettering on top of that. So I've had to reposition it because it was too far over. Um, next we want to assemble the card. So let's put some tape on the back. And then I want to put some double sided tape on the stitched piece. And pop that on so that um, it's flush with the top and the bottom. I can pop this on my card stop. Card front, I mean. Like so. So I hope you have enjoyed today's tutorial. Starting uh, next Wednesday will be my six week countdown to Halloween. Uh, so I'll be using the other elements on this card for it. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe or share on Facebook. And my grateful thanks if you do. If you're watching from YouTube, you'll find the list of supplies I used below this video in the Show More section with direct links to my online store. They'll also be listed on my blog at blog.stampwithelaine.com. You can find me on Facebook, Pinterest or Instagram. Thanks for watching and I'll be back soon.
拜。